Just a quick video uh, going over some of the details of the cowl intake. Uh, there's a lot of questions that come up about it. There's a lot of misconceptions about uh, water intrusion and, and so on and so forth. So um, just give it a quick overview here and probably had a couple other videos, but hopefully this one's in the right format to, to see a little bit better. So as you can see, normally we would have an air filter here um, or air filter box. Uh, if you had a snorkel, there would still be an air filter box here. So one of the first benefits is that it clears up all of this space over here in the engine compartment for, in this case, a uh, battery, uh, onboard air compressors, toolkit, whatever you want to put in there. When we set it up, uh, we moved the filter, obviously, into the cowl area. Um, and this allowed, by using a heat shield, allowed for a little bit larger filter than some of the other designs that people have tried. Um, also allowed it to be accessible from the engine compartment. And uh, the major benefit to it, I guess I would say, is if the, the cowl area up in here were to flood with water and the filter or the drain uh, was plugged, this heat shield will actually allow, if we can get right in there, for water to drain out of it as well. So uh, some people have built them and there's been a couple of kits that uh, I don't think are in production anymore where they actually mounted a, a solid flange to the firewall. And in the event that somehow that cowl did flood with water, um, there was nowhere for it to go except down the intake tube. So um, that's a couple of the reasons for that. It also allowed for a larger filter than using an inline canister filter. So uh, that's one of the probably biggest questions. There's another video on here, and I'll probably reformat it as well, um, where we basically flood the cowl and show you how it drains out. Um, another question that's come up a few times is, uh, I think the tread show over there, you can see this is actually where the air comes in. The other side's sealed off. So it draws air from this side. We've actually had this side, um, or basically a, you know, a good couple inches of snow up on this cowl, and everything still ran normally, uh, ran fine. If it was starting to freeze up, I'd, I'd probably clear it off. Uh, but you're also going to be able to draw air in, uh, you know, even if this was completely plugged up here it would still be able to dry air and even from the drain. So it, it, this entire area up here now becomes the air box. So um, not only does it raise the filter up out of the way, uh, makes room under the hood, um, but it also uh, um, increases the airflow. And this area here uh, at the base of the windshield is actually a high pressure area. So as you're driving at speed, air that comes up over the hood is rammed down into this cowl. Um, so again, uh, another added benefit. Kind of hard to dyno, but most people claim that they feel uh, uh, a lot more power at speed and climbing grades and things like that on the highway. So hopefully that helps a little bit. Um, not the greatest video, but if you have questions, shoot me an email, message me on Instagram or Facebook, and I'd be more than happy to help. Thanks.